Hello everyone, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Order of Battle Burma Road, the newest DLC out by the Matrix and Slytherin published game Order of Battle, made by the Aristocrats. Uh, this game is a sort of a... a a throwback to the Panzer General series. It's it feels like Panzer Corps in that it sort of models that turn-based, hex-based, sort of abstracted way of fighting combat uh, during World War II. A little bit of a puzzle-type game, but uh, with some very distinct uh, trademarks that are a little bit different. The frontline system, the supply system, the way that uh, aircraft works, sort of the way that stacking works in terms of, you know, you can have a certain number of units, but not just that, you have a certain number of units within different sections. So rather than the way Panzer Corps handles it, where you have, you know, a certain number of units and you get to decide the makeup in this game you've got a maximum number of air units a maximum number of uh, ground units a maximum number of naval units and the game focuses a little bit more on naval combat than other uh, similar type games so it certainly has a bit of a niche to itself with that being said guys this is my first impressions of the Burma Road DLC this is a game that uh, has uh, been out for a while now they've got numerous different DLCs the first was Order of Battle Pacific uh, but they've got a wide range of games ranging from the Winter War in Finland, uh, the Kriegsmarine campaign against British supply uh, during World War II, uh, to just the standard Pacific campaign, a Marine campaign, a campaign in China. This particular campaign looks at the British forces fighting in the Indo-Burma Theater, and actually starts off with the Japanese attack on the Malay Peninsula. Uh, we are fighting through the first battle right now in this game, uh, and or in this DLC, and attempting to delay the Japanese attack on the Malay Peninsula. With that being said, guys, this is taken from a live stream from just the other day, and I'm going to go ahead and jump back in. What I will preface here is, uh, again, this was my very first time playing the game, uh, and we are halfway through this battle. We've successfully uh, driven uh, toward and taken uh, Japanese positions in the north. Uh, these are There are Indian forces attacking sort of on our left flank that we don't control. We've taken the first of two Thai checkpoints uh, in an attempt to delay the Japanese. On the right flank, We've taken the main objective of Batong, so the Thai town of Batong is our objective. Other than that, we just have to survive 25 turns and hold that objective and we will win. Uh, but we're also trying to obtain some other secondary objectives. If we drive north and take these rocks on the northeastern corner of the map, we'll win some objectives. If we destroy a certain number of Japanese tanks, we'll win some objectives. Uh, and if we take a certain number of Thai checkpoints, we'll win some objectives. So on the left, we've already gotten one of the two checkpoints. Uh, on the right, uh, we've taken the main objective and we've started driving north, but we're running into increasing Japanese resistance as more and more Japanese forces uh, enter the fray. Uh, you'll see here in the north, things are getting a little bit dicey here with our Indian forces starting to lose some casualties and uh, lose some effectiveness now that they're fighting against Japanese troops rather than Thailand, uh, Thailand troops. With that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump back into the stream uh, and hope you guys enjoy. Let me know your thoughts below, and I'll meet you guys back up at the end. Really ...effectively against us. Um, assuming they're going to attack that infantry of ours there, but maybe not. Just attacked our anti-aircraft, which honestly, I'm fine with. Alright, there goes more of their heavy infantry... I don't know how many turns we have. I need to look at our obje Oh god, there's another heavy infantry in it. Uh Survive. Yeah, they just turned they completely counterattacked and drove back the Indian and almost annihilated the Indian forces there. Here they come in here as well, against our Aussie forces, which are disorganized and disheveled and being driven back. Well, this is where the real strength of the Japanese forces and kind of their growing power comes in. They just wiped out that unit. Uh, I think a early Blitzkrieg is, is better. You're going to get more bang for your buck there. I don't think we're going to... I hope we're not going to lose. There's still a lot of battle to be fought. Alright, so... I 
get our artillery up. Well, these guys recuperate a bit. See enemy air anti aircraft. So we'll see how this a series of attacks works out. Three attacks on Japanese forces here. Actually, now we can move in and cut these guys off. So they're not without supply now, but they will be next turn. Because there's no path for them forward to uh, their own supply. There you have it. Those guys are cut off. We should be able to bag and destroy them next turn. Our own infantry are heavy infantry. Nice. So they can launch an attack here. Could turn them into mortar troops, but I don't think we want to do that. Let's do this, drive them back, drive these Japanese troops into the woods without loss. And actually, let's get our universal carrier troops north as well. The uh, Gurkhas, Gurkhas will head north. They've got good vehicles that can help stem the tide in the north. And we can start counterattacking against these Japanese armored cars. Hopefully, without losing our own. And that's it. Okay. God, stop attacking with armor through woods. Don't be stupid. Right, Japanese trying to break out. Banzai charging, getting themselves killed. Thank you very much. I was hoping they'd all die. Meanwhile, our Indian forces are still taking the brunt of the uh, Japanese attention in the north. Um, any chance they destroy him? No. Alright. Well, those guys are pretty much toast, but at least they're taking some of the heat. We should be able to make this a 2-2 two two fight once we finish these guys off. Our heavy infantry and then our Gurkhas coming up should allow us to uh, maybe try and drive on that other Japanese objective here. Oh, there's another one over here. Alright, well. Japanese armor! Tanks! Don't worry, guys. Reinforcements are on the way. Alright, we're not going to advance. We just destroyed that Japanese unit. We'll hold our ground and wait for the uh, Japanese counterattack. Well... Drive this way. We'll move these guys here. Finish these guys off. Our other troops forward, I think. Oh, there's Japanese armor here. I forgot about that. All right. So armor versus armor here. Yeah, there's a lot of Japanese troops here. Yikes. This infantry unit I shouldn't have moved up. They're probably going to die next turn. And I should have used my artillery to bombard. But maybe they can move forward and provide some effective cover fire? Maybe? I really wish they'd destroy some of these damn, ant er, uh, damn bombers. Indian armor trying to run away. I mean, we've we've succeeded in winning if we can hold off the Japanese. Ideally, we get north, destroy these ledges, kind of take the last objectives and, and win. But if, if we can't do that, we'll still win as long as the Japanese don't retake this objective down here. Of course, if we do get ourselves obliterated to the east here, that certainly, uh, you know, may not happen. We may lose the objective, but we'll see.
I don't quite understand the difference between the big and the little bomber. It's like a core versus like a maybe like a brigade versus a air force. I'm not sure. All right, so they did a little bit of damage. We should be able to finish off that Japanese unit this turn. So the little tank that could, you know, gave its all, gave its final sacrifice for its uh, country. Uh, but it, it'll end up proving useful, I think. As our uh, own armored car unit gets destroyed. I like the little sound effect there, like broken glass. Which is basically appropriate for how weak that unit is. Huh. Maybe they survive? Enemy infantry attacking our anti-aircraft pieces and getting no damage suffered in return. Alright. Can you just destroy that guy for once? Ugh. Wow, the music just like abruptly stopped. Alright. Japanese tank destroyed. Let's see... These guys are almost dead, so we'll go ahead and assign some reinforcements to them, to them. These guys actually are full strength. I should have pulled them back. We'll just use them to attack the, the hapless uh, Thai police. And bombard these guys. Nothing else was in range, so... Um... There you go. Two to one. Okay. Well, better, better than we forecast. Forward attack these guys. They're destroyed. Alright, so we've, we're have we continuing to threaten in the north here now. We've got two full strength and high quality units that can try and flank up and around the enemy units. What haven't we moved yet? And reinforce you guys, and that'll be everybody. Okay, so the Australian forces are almost dead. Um, hopefully the Japanese don't attack these three infantry units. And, of course, they probably will. Unless they're gonna... No, they do us a favor. They spend their time attacking the Thais. Okay. Thai troops, that's fine. Um, let's see what the Japanese do here. Are they gonna try and attack our Gurkha infantry? They're kind of exposed. They are in the open. Well, they do. How do these guys acquit themselves? Three to one, I'll take it. Heavy infantry attack, three to one. Second attack, two to two. Okay. All right, all right. Japanese bombers doing a little bit of damage. If they try and hit this, they've got one other infantry unit they haven't used yet. Destroy them. Damn, they died. All right, well. <sighs> Alas, they've fallen in combat. It's more just dealing with the hordes of Japanese troops at this point. There's just too many of them. And our own Australian troops can't get organized. They're all, they're all dealing from some movement penalties of some kind. They've got these orange numbers, which basically mean that they're, you know, not as effective as they could be. Alright, so the Japanese actually moved in some artillery here. Alright, so combined counterattack is really weakening the Japanese and driving them back in the north. Good. And what do we do in the south? I'm torn on this. Alright, so we destroy the Japanese artillery.
Okay, and our engineers are attacking the Japanese here. Ugh, they lost worse than I hoped they would, but nonetheless, um, in the north, things are going okay. Um, move these guys back. And then we can we can buy reinforcements in this game even if we move. So we'll get these guys back up strength a little bit. Hopefully these infantry which are dug in don't come and try and hit us in the rear. We'll go ahead and use some supply on those guys. And I think that's it. So we'll go ahead and move forward. Now I guess the Thai police could advance and try and retake their capital. That is an option. But it looks like these Japanese troops are just trying to go around our flank and rush the objective. Which is an understandable tactic, I suppose. I hope they don't. But they just kind of did. So we're going to have to deal with that. Japanese mortar attack. Aircraft are bombing our anti-air. Oh no, what is that? It's artillery. And doing some damage. Damn it. Alright. All right, well, these guys are actually going to get themselves cut off because they're dumb. We'll uh, reinforce our artillery. I don't know if they can make it to the objective point or, or the objective point or not. They might be able to just rush it. They're almost on a road line. And actually, if they got there, I think they'd cut our supply off as well. Uh... you just destroy one of these units instead of continually... There you go. Alright, forecasts always seem to be wrong on the low end, but we did just outflank and destroy that Japanese unit. You guys can move that way. Alright, so at least the light enemy bomber we can hit. It's a Ki-48 versus the GM-4, which we can't do anything against. Ki-48 we just did some damage against. Right, and our Aussies are ganging up on this Japanese infantry unit and at least slowly attriting him down. I think we just got the northern forces to worry about now. Alright. Took out half of his strength. And we're wearing him down in the north as well. Oh, you're right. I keep calling them Thai. They're Burmese troops. I don't... No, actually, I think they're Thai. Or our troops are Burmese troops? The game said they were Tha Taiwanese forces at the start, not Burmese. We're on the Malay Peninsula, so it wouldn't. I don't think it would make sense for them to be uh, Burmese troops. All right, so the AI did something smart there. He ran his troops basically into cover. Mm. Trying to get around us. They have to take off a turn of attacking with our Gurkhas. Those guys die. I don't know why I did that with my artillery just there. That was kind of dumb. All right, so wearing down these Japanese infantry. Slowly, ever so slowly, driving north.
Alright. Cut these Japanese troops off. They'll probably retreat next turn back into supply. I can't really effectively keep them there. In the north, meanwhile, we've got one really strong unit, which will destroy that Japanese unit. These guys will take some reinforcements, so our Gurkhas will get some reinforcements. And then we'll start attacking with them again next turn. The Japanese forces on the northern Thai checkpoint are um, exhausted. Uh, they don't look like they have much left uh, in terms of firepower. We've got about ten more turns to accomplish our objectives. Oh, they're actually going to attack us there? That was bold, if you will. Some of their troops look like they're retreating into the jungle. Continuing to hammer us with mortar fire. I'm pretty sure there's a Japanese infantry unit just chilling out here. They move further out of supply. I don't understand you sometimes. Anti, I think that's an anti-tank gun, but it's not anti-tanking much at all. All right, there you go. That Japanese unit should be finished off next turn. These guys are just running around out of supply. Doesn't look like we have to do anything by any particular turn in terms of our uh, objectives, which is nice. Oh, they did get back in supply though. So, finish those guys off. Now we can advance on the ledge. Okay. Go ahead and give these guys some reinforcements, finishing that Japanese unit off. And our artillery can race forward north to join us next turn. Again, I'm still a little uneasy with this one unit that's kind of sitting back there. All right, so we just destroyed two Japanese units in rapid succession and took the second Thai checkpoint, um, which is good, very good. Uh, the first Thai checkpoint is secure. The second Thai checkpoint is probably relatively safe. The Japanese don't have anywhere, any effective troops uh, that can really deal with our the quality of our troops in the north. The question is just what happens to some of these isolated units that are kind of cut off behind lines and how they, uh, how they respond. Also, what the Japanese might have coming in terms of reinforcements. Obviously, Japanese tanks are not something I want to see. You can see why. They just ravaged that infantry unit, drove it back. Uh, Japanese got their troops back into supply. But they're out of supply for this attack, so that was dumb. And... Oh. There we go. Alright, finished them off, destroyed them. Our own armor, racing north. I'm sending these guys to deal with the one unit that's kind of just chilling out here. Move artillery. Well, I shouldn't have moved it there. Damn it. Now it can be attacked by enemy and artillery. And that about does it for this turn. We do have a little bit of um, supply we could play around with, but we don't have enough uh, capacity for our infantry to really have a, a unit with um, vehicle support, which is what I was really hoping to go for. That uh, attack by these dug-in troops was really a lot worse than I was hoping it would be. But at least the armor moved away from our artillery. Of course, their air attack doesn't help us. I didn't think you could bomb, move, and then bomb again. Ah, they came in from behind. 
and promptly committed suicide? Yeah, they did. <laughs> they retook the tie checkpoint only to attack and kill themselves, so then they lost the tie checkpoint. Uh, but it did delay us a turn or so. Can they move? I really thought they could move after attacking. Damn it! Well, they're dead next turn. Uh, maybe trying to get to that other tight checkpoint over there. That would be kind of the logical thing for them to try and do. Should just use these Gurkhas. They've got uh, vehicle support kind of race to the rear. We've got some heavily dug in Japanese troops here. We're going to have to try and figure out how we're going to deal with. Um... Don't really want to launch an attack there. So I guess these guys are just going to get some reinforcements and we'll get reinforcements for everybody else as well. So some of these units are going to be almost back up to full strength. Some of them will be at full strength. All right. So that attack's going to kill them. There they go. Oh, no, they're going to... Oh, wow. Okay, they made it out. Hurrah! All right. Japanese armor continues to run away, trying to lure us into the ledge. Continuing to bomb our artillery, the one thing they were effectively able to bomb, but only when it was uh, mounted up. So when you move units that have transportation, like trucks, if you move them and they, they mount up on those trucks, then they'll stay on those trucks for the enemy's attack turn, which can obviously do great damage to those units because they're kind of easy sitting ducks, if you will. All right, so we found those guys. We'll just kind of keep pursuing. I think they can... Yeah, they can't reach. All right, we'll bombard them with artillery. These guys are dug in. Hopefully that softens them up a bit. Who's got the best... All right, there you go. We drove them right back. Nice! We finally got one of their air units. Which one was it, by the way? It was the KI-48. All right, figures the lighter of the two. Um, so now I think we just have to destroy these rock piles, and then we'll win. I think. Assuming... That should be all the objectives, right? We just have to destroy this one remaining Japanese troop that's kind of in our rear. Finish this infantry unit off here that's return retreating into the mountains. And uh, then I think that's about it. I think that's all they have left. Destroy two hillsides. We haven't done that. Destroy three Japanese tanks. We've got one left to do. I'm actually just going to do that now. I didn't quite destroy them, but that's going to be my goal. Destroy that Japanese infantry unit. Right, destroy that one mountain top and finish these guys off here. Oh, they're not dead yet. Come on, guys. Bombardment to death? No. Artillery won't do it. Alright. We'll have to go another turn. Letting these guys run around. What the hell just happened to our artillery? Oh, I think the Japanese aircraft crashed on top of them. Uh, the Japanese must have run out of airfields, so if they can't refuel their aircraft after a certain amount of time, those aircraft will run out of gas, literally, and not be able to do anything. Where did their armor run away to? I don't want to destroy this last mountaintop until I find their goddamn armor. 
Oh, that was dumb. Well, I found it. It's all the way up there in the north. We've still got five turns. We don't need to destroy it quite yet, but that was kind of foolish because those guys are going to for sure get killed. And I can't unmount them or anything. All right. Jump out to the next turn, wait for them to kill or attack. Cut off them first, I guess. That makes sense. But they didn't launch an attack. Interesting. Hmm. All right. We'll leave one guy back to do the work when it needs to be done. Got a couple more turns. Finish them off. See what they do with the armor. If they keep running it away. Really don't. Okay, so at least they moved it closer. All right. New commander's available. He's attached to one of our units. Great. All right. So we destroyed every Japanese unit west of the river. East of the river, there's still a few, but we kind of bypassed them. Destroyed that mine field. And destroyed the last thing. So I think that's it. Victory! While Japanese advances into Malaya has become significantly delayed, the general disarray of allied forces in the region largely negates the success of our operation. All right, everybody, that's going to do it here for this first episode of my look at Operation, or not Operation, but my look at uh, Order of Battle, uh, Burma Road, the newest DLC out for the Order of Battle game. Uh, I know I call this first impressions, but I'm not sure I have some impressions yet, other than this is another Order of Battle uh, game, it's another Order of Battle uh, battle pack. Uh, everything that I like about Order of Battle that I mentioned in previous videos kind of remains. It's an interesting sort of spin on the Panzer Corps series, it delves into a little bit more detail without going into too much minutia. It's still a little bit of a puzzle game, but it feels less like it because of the supply system, because of the way that stacking works between air, ground, and naval units. It gives a little bit more attention to naval combat, though not quite as much as I'd like in terms of the way it models it. Overall, it's a solid game if you just want to pick up and play something that has a World War II theme. Some of the scenarios tend to get a little bit sloggy. I kind of felt like this one you know, toward the end was like that that. But with that being said, I enjoyed myself. Uh, and uh, I hope I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe doing another scenario or two looking at Force Z, the next battle in the Malay campaign, but I'm not quite sure. So let me know if this is something you guys would like to see more of or not. Um, we will be getting back to Battlestar Galactica. We're going to continue the Ultimate General Civil War series, which has kind of become a staple of my channel. I'll probably post one of those every day and then intermittently post other videos, be it this or Battlestar Galactica, as you've seen. So some days we'll have two videos, some days won't. With that being said, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. As always, leave your thoughts below. And until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.